forest thrushes are one of my favorite birds to hear with their gorgeous polyphonic song, which is handy because you actually don't often see them, not unless you know what to look for. They're secretive and well camouflaged, so they're difficult to spot as they're foraging throughout forest understory. This one here is a Swainson's thrush, one of the more common ones in this area. There are three thrushes that look similar to what they will find around here, those being the Swainson's grey-cheeked and hermit thrushes. Most thrushes are frugivores, meaning they mostly eat berries, and are therefore very important for seed dispersal of understory plants. And that makes it something of a problem that they're all declining. Some of these declines are more severe and well understood than others. The wood thrush, for example, is listed as a species at risk, while the rest of them have escaped that classification thus far. However, that's probably not going to be the case for long. Hermits, Swainsons, and grey-cheeked thrushes have all been experiencing both population declines and range shrinkages over the last couple decades, and what's more worrying is we don't really know why. It could have something to do with habitat loss, habitat fragmentation, or maybe just a drop in overall habitat quality. In the Swainson's thrush's case, in areas where they're declining, they're having very high rates of nest failure, mostly caused by predation. What's causing their nests to be predated more than other areas? That's unknown. That's a topic for future study, and that's why work like what we do is so important in understanding their population trends and in getting a better idea of what might be driving those declines.